Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, a couple of you know me. My name is Anjum Sata. I'm working with the um, UK University last eight, nine years now, and I'm also teaching at the University of Bradford, and I'll try my best, you know, to meet your expectation, background, ACC, teaching, MBA, the various uh, sort of, you know, subject, and uh, I'll try my best, you know. If you have any question, please feel free, always ask. Of course, is a taxation. There can be various issues, but we'll try to go through because you most of you working in accounts maybe you know the stuff you know more than me because if you're in practice you know of course day in and out you know you're dealing these but we'll go through as uh, what is really in in term of the key learning outcome huh? that's all from my end uh, okay quick you know if you can introduce each other so it's good to know because we are starting a new module yes so a couple of you knew so it's quick if you can share with each other please if you don't mind to Yes, your name, what you do, what you've done, please. Keeping in view of GDPR, if you don't want to share, it is absolutely fine. Okay, I can go first. My name is Nisham. I uh, work in investment management and uh, for the master's degree, I've got finalist ACCA and, uh, and a few other qualifications. So this is kind of really an you know, additional one that I wanted to do. I've not done, I have like exemption from pretty much all modules other than this UK taxation. So that's why I'm doing this one. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Welcome. Uh, who's next, please? If you want to quick, you know. Hi, I'm Dennis. Dennis, um, come from an insurance background. So I'm into uh, financial reporting uh, with an insurance company uh, in London. Um, my background is I've done my master MBA and I'm ACCA qualified, but um, ACCA is just um, they pulling my legs. So I thought let me just quickly come to IFA and use IFA to get a practice certificate and I can come move on with my life. So that's in short um, an intro of me. Brilliant. Great, thank you. Well done. Uh, who's next, please? Thanks for sharing. Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Jonas. Uh, I did uh, uh, a uh, a degree in uh, accounting and finance. I'm ACCA part qualified. Currently working in an accountancy practice. Uh, that's all, really. Okay, great, brilliant. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Uh, yes, please, if anyone else want to share quick, you know, so we can start. So a couple of you already know each other, which is. Okay, welcome. Let's we'll start. Okay, welcome, everyone. So, of course, we are going to start new modules. Today, lesson will discuss about LO1, Learning Outcome 1, uh, which is about understand advanced aspect of UK taxation system. Okay, the, in taxation, always, you know, very well, you know, because is an issue, you know, finance act. Yes, which finance act you want to follow? Because it's not your exam, we, we can say, you know, specific, you have to follow particular exam, uh, you know, finance act, especially when you're doing ACCA, CMA, or any other exam where we have to look around, you know, uh, you know, the very specific towards your exam, you know, external, because this is your assignment based course. Yes. So it means, you know, it's a matter of writing your assessment and answering the key question. Those will be in your exam, uh, in your assignment. Uh, that's the key. Okay. Understand the advanced aspect of UK taxation of course we just want to develop our understanding of the aim of this unit uk taxation system uh, and then the key we have you know is always good to look around you know the current your knowledge about income corporation and overseas tax element you know the domicile and the elements uh, of it and indicative content the purpose is we look the scope of income tax we can look around employment self-employment, property, it can be many key, you know, the key points there, which is 
but our lesson number all you know we'll discuss of course if we look you know the benefit in kind then all other it can takes you know but we'll give a bit you know if you want more we have uh, some books available on our moodle page we can arrange one to one i are uh, if you really keen, you know we can we can explore more and we can go through the all all the relevant points. Huh? Okay, so these are uh, the key points which we'll go through. Of course, our uh, discussion will cover a bit, you know, value added tax as well. And a couple of you already may be submitting VAT return, and you're well aware of uh, different schemes as well. Okay, so always good to when we deal look around. Uh, because ultimately an application of the rates, you know, really we need a good understanding how we can apply. Of course, you know, already personal allowance. Uh, this is slightly a bit, you know, one years, two years old, which we are looking finance act 2021, 20, 22, and you can look around 22, 23, or 23, 24. Yes, so it's likely 12,570 and 12,500, yes. So these are which we can look around, you know, the personal allowance, of course, every year is carry on changing. And, uh, you know, the base, the basic rate and high rate, additional rates all you know, uh, because a couple of you working in accounts, so you very well knows how the rates work, but our discussion will cover. So I included some stuff which we can look around. Uh, of course, you, you know, the car benefits according to the CO2 levels of the car car fuel benefit, how we can claim that can be in our discussion, company van benefits, individual saving accounts, uh, property income, uh, and these, you know, all it's come under the finance act, which we can look around, yeah. Uh, pension scheme, approved mileage, you already know 45 pence, 25 pence, and so on, according to this year's finance act. Uh, yes, capital allowance, of course, then we can look around the asset is belong to man pool or special pool and we can uh, claim, you know, the capital allowance accordingly. Of course, you're well aware of we can't claim it uh, depreciation, but we can claim capital allowance. Uh, yes, CO2, <clears throat> uh, carbon footprint, if we have motor cars and all, you know, that's accordingly, we can claim um, and they, some can be exempt, which we can look specific according to the question. Uh, cash basis accounting, um, yes, revenue limits and so on, which will go through value added tax, you know, different schemes we can join. Uh, annual accounting, which flat rate, um, then, of course, you know, normally standard VAT return, which we do every quarter. We can inherent tax, of course, that's a, that's a big, you know, 325,000 or if it's, yes, nil band rate. And then, of course, connected person, uh, those we can uh, explore more. Uh, okay, then, of course, you're well aware of NI, national insurance, capital, capital gain tax, you know, on normal rate and properties and higher areas yes. so which we can look around which band you falls and then we can of course national insurance according to the classes okay now uh, the uk tax system uh, is we can look around the uk tax system is professional and ethical framework really we need to be follow if you're working we can look around professional code of ethics you which those we even discuss in our uh, corporate reporting as well which will We'll go through and our discussion will be direct indirect taxes and uh, various case laws can be okay it's the tax and the guidance the tax law of course you know act of parliament we can look around various case laws detailed regulation instrument hmrc guidance of course we can follow through hmrc website as well which is carry on changing so we need to be look around those uh, so method of operating as a business, uh, it can be sole trader partnership of com company and make sure your taxation rules accordingly, which we can look around it falls corporation tax, uh, it falls, you know, self-assessment. So we can look around the type of incomes, yes. So different incomes and different taxes according to uh, finance act, of course, you know, whichever year you're dealing, we can look around, which we can further explore and we can download. I'll share with you as well, latest one. So employment income, bank, building society, property income and all this, you know, and did you know finance, financial years when it's run for the tax purposes, yeah, the tax year. 
okay you can stop me please if any question particularly you can ask we can go through uh, yes you already know texel now this is quite old slide but it's you know 12570 is the new which you know that's because every year we can look around the personal allowance which is as uh, working in a tax is quite crucial yes so we can look around tax calculation total non saving saving income the personal allowance exempt yeah so these all we need to be carry on looking according to the finance act yeah? so of course saving incomes so if you want particularly we can look around those issues but uh, in generic you know so we can look around how we can do the tax calculation yeah? Of course, we can look around tax variance and tax avoidance, yeah, and tax planning. Of course, tax planning is illegal to ensure, you know, use and made all the available tax relief, yeah. Of course, we can look around the carry forward, back forward, and those, you know, the losses and tax planning, which we can look around, yeah. Tax avoidance currently legally to make, you know, use of loopholes in the tax legislation to reduce the tax liability is can be but the tax variance is illegal to deliberately mislead you know authorities to reduce the tax liability like you know making intentionally tax in VAT return missing the figures and then we rectifying in the next VAT return because we can look around but we can uh, yeah so deliberately doing things or hiding things can be is come under the fraud uh, allowable and disallowable expenses so those we can look around the gift you know not costing more than 50 50 pound per donors and depends yes donations and all you know redundancy payments yes uh, trade and excess of the amount you know which we can look around the limits and leasing cost uh, those can be in the company's point of view disallowed and the payments we can look for that in according to Okay, allowable or uh, disallowable fines and penalties not applicable to companies. Yes, implies at the moment, of course, a lot of legislation change towards the property incomes and things because we used to claim. You now the companies can individual con, that's, you know, the big, that's why the people are moving towards more companies, properties, transferring. So private expenses, trades, capital expenses entertainment legal fees and all you know which we can look around each you know under the separate category according to the finance act when we deal with the clients okay so we have 1.1 assessment criteria because we are doing lo1 lo1 which is further divided into 1.1 1.2 1.3 so uh we can look around the income and income tax liability related to overseas aspect. If you work abroad temporarily and you will need to be considered a tax position in the UK, of course, we need to look around the domicile. We need to look around, uh, yes, uh, residency rules. Of course, you know, if you're living 180 days or more abroad, so whatever impact will be. Yeah? So these we need to be look around. So full-time basis, whole one of the complete years strict you know conditions we can look around the fewer than 31 uk work day during the tax years we can look around the paragraph of two 2.3 of hmrc booklet yes thus you know, provide the further guidance on those issues but you know the resident and not resident of like the residency of course you know so tax need to be declared accordingly and uh, we can look around Okay, so we can look around uh, pay why to pay as you earn elements within overseas as well as the UK. Yes, yeah? so how we can make adjustments in the tax. Okay, so example please. Can we look? You know, we included few examples in our uh, which is good to look around. Like you know, in this case, uh, incorporated overseas. Although the director is based in the UK, hold their yes board meeting in the UK. We can look around the company that are incorporated overseas and only treated as being resident in the UK if they are a central management and control exercise in the UK. That's you know other that's why the company is moving head offices controls and all. So that the tax implication, like you know, a lot of companies move to Ireland because the tax rules and the tax rate is quite less, 10 to 15%. Uh, but in the UK is 19% corporation tax is being resident in the UK. Yes. Yeah? 
So since the director is UK based and hold in the board meeting in the UK would indicate the in this case, you know, the manage and control from the UK. Therefore, it is resident in the UK. The director is based on the overseas to hold their broad meeting overseas and the company would probably be treated as a resident overseas since the central management and control exercise outside the UK. So these can be issues which we need to. Please, if you want to be further enhanced, these, I included the link of ACCA, these example, uh, which we can, you know, use to look around further these scenarios. So when we'll do assignments, so we can include some of them to look around these. So yes, then we have again is a overseas dividend we have with holding tax. Yes, with held, you know, dividend, the rate is a 15% in the various, you know, uh, limited owns 50 or less person voting rights. We know the parent subsidiary and associate elements. Do we know? Yes. What is the parent company? If you own a hundred percent, uh, if you own fifty percent or more of other companies, so that's your subsidiary. Yes. So if you own it uh, for fifty percent or more, more than forty nine, yeah. So we can uh, call subsidiary. Yes, if you own it um, twenty to forty nine percent, we can look around associate. And if you have less than 20% shares, we call simple investment here. Yeah? So that's, you know, which we can look around here. Yeah? Overseas branches and associate elements. So tax purposes, you can look around who control it. Yeah? So these, these examples we can. Okay. So if it's a dividend, yes. So like the 50% or less voting right overseas companies and then overseas dividend uh, will be exempt from the UK corporation tax, but included the frank investment income and others. So we've been given the examples here. We included the link for further, you know, to look these examples. Any question from anyone? We all okay? Uh, yes, please. If any question you can ask. Huh? Uh, capital allowance, of course, you know, we can look around. It's a man pool, special pool, our short life, our private use assets, yes. And we have to treat the assets accordingly. We can look around annual investment, of course, you know, it's carry on chaining every year. This is slightly for which we can look around this year as well, which I'll, I'll give you next, you know, lesson, the latest rate, you know, we'll embed it further and we'll, we'll discuss, you know, those as well. Huh? Okay, so written down allowance, you already know uh, is man pool is 18% and special pool if asset belong to. So then again, you know, it's quite good to look around the which category your asset is false. Huh? Of course, with a list of assets and then we need to be look around special pools, those assets according to the HMRC rules. Okay, so private use asset, don't pool the private use asset and show full value of the asset allowance in the column, which we look, you know, few example numericals to look around these, you know, then we can make adjustment arise according to which can be. Okay, short life asset and elections can be made, you know, dis uh, dis depools, you know, asset and we can look around the asset must be disposed of in eight years at the end of the period of acquisition when we acquire, we can look around the planning and the pooling of their assets, you know, which we can, it's not really, we keep into man pool. And of course we can, because we can't really claim it's for a certain period of time, certain asset we can claim uh, are written down now. So, okay. Uh, taxable total profit, please. When we need to calculate a little pro forma, taxable trading profit, how much we have interest, other income, property income, chargeable gains yes and then total profit less you know qualify charity donations if we gave you know those we can claim and uh, we can look around and how much is the tax you know which we're supposed to pay and we can calculate which we look you know some example interest yes income from the non trading source minus the interest payable on the trading loans if we have we can make adjustments uh property uh, business income, all the property income be treated as a single source of income and calculate in the same way as the trading profit. 
Okay, so we can look around accounting period. Yes, the first 12 months from the first accounting period and the remaining months, you know, from the second accounting period. Yes, it can be falled into two taxation period and we can look around then two different, you know, the finance act can be and long period of accounts, you know, if the period is exceed the 12 month, divide the profit between two, uh, between the accounting period, which we can, and we can look around the laws accordingly, which is always good to look around according to the finance sector. Okay, uh, we can look around the rates, yes. The uh, rates of the corporation tax are set financial years, yes. We know the years start and it was 20, now it's reduced to the 19. Okay, the basis of even was 25% before as well. It's 30 used to be a lot of, you know, the things change now in terms of the taxation. So we can look around according to. Okay, the special basis of the rules, which we can look around the date commence fifth, yes, uh, during that 12 months and the 12 months accounting period is three years and so on. So we can proportion it some, you know, the income according to the accounting years, which we need to look around. Okay, overlap profit, yes, any profit, tax it twice in the operating years are called overlap profit, yes. Overlap profit may be revealed on session within the final year of overlap profit are deducted from the final year of profit and assessment focus, yes, which we can check in the calculation and we can switch profit, we can adjust it accordingly. Uh, of course, you're not doing exams, so we're not worried about in terma, but only we need to make sure we'll add, you know, some example when we'll do the assignment discussion and we'll give you some sample assignment accordingly and some, you know, which examples we can include. Huh? So we can look around when we have, you know, the taxation adjustment, when we seize business or we need to be look around, you know, overlap profit elements and we make adjustment accordingly. And this is one of the very old example, but it's look around that give us idea how we can, you know, adjust it, which we can look around in when we'll do some examples, you know, which will embed. Okay, a change of accounting dates, yes, which we can year to change, of course, maybe created a new overlap from years before and relief, you know, which we can be. So which we can look uh, accordingly. Okay. Uh, NI, national insurance, of course, is a class four or two, whichever, and you need to be make sure we'll, because of course, no, is uh, NI is chained to 13% approximate, and we need to be make adjustment accordingly. Yes, if we are self-employed, implied and class. So, uh, yes, always trading losses. We can look around how we can carry forward if we have a loss, not otherwise revealed and deducted. You know, first available profit. And if you have a loss previously five years before, you can carry on. When you have a profit in that years, you can deduct those losses to make your tax bill. And tax planning is illegal. Uh, yes, which we can. And we can look around. And these, you know, and re relief, yes, loss is deducted from the total income and tax and loss and preceding tax years, which we can loss can be set against the again, again, the years of the, yes, of the preceding, which we can loss must be set against the income of the relevant year first. And we can look around like if you have this year, you have a profit and the previous, you know, years you have a loss. So we can set the loss of the most old one and then you know which we can carry on forwarding the losses huh? so we can because otherwise you know the five years period which we can't claim it huh? that's really we need to make sure we'll do accordingly okay trading losses the company trading losses may be set again the profit and the same accounting period set against profit of the previous 12 months and carry forward set again the first available profit in the same trading same trade, yes, before we qualifying the charitable donations, yes, remain, well, we can look around those, you know, uh, of course, we can claim those as well. Okay, so, of course, release and all, you know, we can look around, as we discussed, tax planning is illegal, so we can look around tax planning purposes, and then within certain depends, you know, the gain is, uh, relief is in certain accounting period, yes. Yeah? Uh, yes, losses again set the current or the future gains and never income and cannot be carry, carried back. Yes, we can carry forward. 
Okay, so of course we can use the pro forma of whichever years we are doing, yes. So let's say, you know, we can look around the trading profit. We have these and we have a less losses uh, just brought forward, which we can look around and uh, other, you know, income and net chargeable gain and total profit, less loss, you know, the relief of those years, which we can look around first and then we can climb to the following. So we don't want to waste it. Yes. So tax planning is illegal, which we need to be carry on looking which one you want to be claimed because as accountant we need to be uh, look the planning side of it so earlier relief cash cash flow advantage can be yes tax saving offset you know gain the profit in uh, this is of course is all which we can look around in those particular years which year we are dealing with the accounts yes and the reliefs we can claim okay the property losses against income before we can look around the relief, you know, the current period and excess, you know, losses carry forward again, the total income. And we can look around the capital losses, yes, automatically set again, the current year's gain, yes, excess, you know, losses carry forward again, the first available future gain when we have. And overall, you know, it's the same. So chargeable person disposal of assets. So the charge... Uh, chargeable disposal yes this include the sales and the gift and deductions of the asset which we can look around the chargeable person the companies and individual and chargeable assets is most asset are the chargeable exempt asset include the cars and some of the chattels which we can look around especially you know those categories in the certain areas okay so we can look around the gain when we have how much proceed how much cost to you and how much net gain you have, you know, which we can, and then we can look around according to the act, you know, which we can calculate. Okay, we'll go through some more example in the next, you know, lesson where we can look at an actual example of the uh, current years. So rate is 20%, 10% and so on. So we need to be always look around, you know, uh, yes, corporation tax, annual exempt, yes, and so on, so which we need to be look around accordingly in those years okay De deduct all uh, allowable capital losses are uh, the gain which we can uh, we can look around and calculate yes if we have indexation of the shares if we have a gain through so those we can look around as well and the shares is also of course you know the values and all we need to be look around Okay, we can look around the gain and the losses for the companies and indexation. Yes, we can expand each as multiple by indexation factors run from the date of acquisition date, disposal and the cost what we have and run from the date incurred and the, uh, the date of disposal in a hands, you know. So we can indexation given to you in assessment and the losses, of course, you're not doing assessment, but we, are, we can include some examples. And part of disposal, Yes, so maybe the asset you look around the disposal. So we have to look around. We have to use the formula A divided by A plus B. So is the proceed from the past sold and B is the market value, the part retained. Yes, so that's, you know, which we, we use the formula to uh, look around the proceed. We have a proceed, but less, you know, um, if we have a, any cost of disposal, we can minus plus, you know, 18,000 was the proceed, 18,000 plus how much was the total asset was estimated value. And then we can minus it and we can say, you know, the chargeable gain net we have, you know, which is 7,000. So this way we can uh, transfer and we we have a special rules for these. We need to be look around under each um, particular finance sector. A chattel is the item of tangible movable properties uh, the painting or gain on the chattel sold, gross proceed, less, you know, the vesting chattels exempt, which we can look around and maximum gain on the chattel sold more than 6,000, where the cost is less than 6,000. So we can proportion, yes, gross proceed minus your 6,000. Yeah, more we can proportion. So losses of the chattel sold, which we can restrict it and assuming the gross proceed to be 6,000. Okay, so please each category, of course, we can look around the market value of the assets and we can make adjustment accordingly and exemption criteria in each, you know, section. Okay, spouse and the civil partners. Yes, 
the disposal between the spouse and the civil partner don't give the rise to the gain or the losses yes so like here we have example bought asset in 20000 and give to his wife julie when the market value was 30000 so deem proceed is 20000 less you know the cost is 20000 no gain or the loss the julie based on the cost for the future disposal is 20000 so that can be sometime we need to look around under each fund finance act okay okay ends of the chart death gift within the seven years we can look around the other uh, lifetime gifts you know which we can according to okay so we have lifetime gift yes any gift which is not exempt a man example of course you're not doing exam you just you know we can include some examples to look around you know these which we'll go through when we'll do the assignment discussion so we can pick you know some examples to go through accordingly death rate of seven years more than seven years lifetime gift yes so we have uh, the capital uh, which is inherent tax you know we know 325,000 is the limit eh? transfer value special exemption exemptions yeah tax calculation chargeable uh, of course nowadays uh, when we're dealing with the tax you know the software automatically updates you know the things and just a matter of putting but we have the rates you know and some interpretation of the taxation and the tax planning person we should have the knowledge about these you know deeply when we're dealing with the clients huh? so nil rate band uh 300 previous was 312 now we have 320 to 340 okay so we can look around if is seven years rule apply if and the nil rate band is in this case yeah we can look around if that falls huh? so we've been given the rules here years before the death is three but less than four reduction in relief yes can be if four years less than five forty percent if five but less than six is a sixty per Send uh if it's more seven years more eighty percent in lifetime paid you know we can look around capital lifetime tax huh? what is being and property being transferred and all you know so we can look around the tax and the taxable amounts yes and tipper relief and chargeable gains accordingly as the scenario okay so lifetime gifts annual exemption three thousand per year tax here carry forward for one year only you the current before brought forward small gift if you're giving gift yes then we also 250 yes total gift per donies we can look around marriage exemption 5000 per parent yes if the parent giving and per grandparents and party to marriage yes and 1000 to others yes and number of uh, we can look around the normal expenditures out of the income which we can and those you know which we need to look around accordingly yes freehold property the replacement investments are mortgage and the lifetime so these you know the issues can be which we look each you know individual scenario and we need to be looking around 70 years rules uh we look around it's a um, lifetime yes what we've been claimed and uh, when the property is being transferred and so on in the under the inherent tax so we in our assignment we can pick one one of scenario which we can use it and that's you know which we can look around when we'll go through our assignment discussion use available exemption and relief yes a gift asset during the lifetime donor maybe survive seven years tipper relief survive three years and annual exemption available you know and freeze value of the gift which we can look around accordingly uh transfer of uh, deceased you know spouse unused if they nil rate yes band depends which band your falls huh? so we can look around these according to okay so we included some example if you want to look around the merit criteria to work so we we can look around the evaluate the income and income tax liabilities in relation to the trust you know if you want to work towards so we can look around those example and I uh, assess the stamp taxes and all others yes so if you want to look around the distinction criteria so we can look around some examples to we can look around the stamp and stamp duties and things okay so uh of course if we look you know in lo1 this is 
just you know we need to look around uh, some basic rules, you know, according to which year, whichever year we are dealing with the tax year, because we will do assignments. So we'll pick examples in our second lesson and uh, we'll look, you know, those accordingly and we'll link to our assignment, you know, which learning outcome we can match to according to. Uh, yes. So we it's good to, if you want to, please just look under the finance act 2022, 20, 23 or 23. 24 release so what we can uh so i can share with you just one second if i can any question please hello can you hear me yeah we can I no questions no questions okay because you know taxis of course maybe it's a question can become on yes we not thoroughly we can create some templates we can do some numericals but of course, you know, the scenario can be totally different, okay? So what I'll do in the next lesson, I will include some numerical element to look around, you know, few scenarios to get the basic understanding. But this can be in various, depends case to case. Huh? So what you can do, please, uh, before next lesson, if we can look around the Finance, finance Act 22-23, yes? And we can look around the inherent tax rates, yes? And we can look around property incomes and overseas elements and we'll we look you know some numerical then okay okay uh brilliant thanks for attending today's session if you have if you have a question we can go through if no question i'll, I'll add you know some examples for you numerical side and we'll discuss you know in our lo2 contextualize to lo1 as well okay i'll speak Hello. Yeah, looks like it's ended. We can, we can... Thank you. Have a lovely weekend and we'll see you next week. Hello. Yes, please. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't hear you. Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, now it's better. We couldn't hear you for, oh. I think, one, one minute or so. Okay, so, brilliant. Just to recap, you saying we should, we should uh, refer to the finance of 2023 and specifically look at inheritance tax rates and what else? Okay, so what we'll do, you know, in the next week, less next lesson, I will in include, you know, some numerical elements, and when we'll do in our LO two, we can contextualize, and we'll when we'll do assignments, we'll include examples, huh? because your only is the assignment, so we need to pick some examples which we can include in our yes. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Thanks for attending today's session, and we'll speak to you during our next lesson. Yes. And we'll see you speak you accordingly. Thank you. Thank you. If, please, oh, cheers. If, cheers, bye. if any question you have my email, yes, anjum at you uh ukversity dot co dot uk and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye.